first things first, so how, I, I guess you're just delighted to be back out on the field to play back out with your mates. Yeah, of course. Um, it's been a, a long four months off. Um, obviously, whilst we've been off, we've been working. But, yeah, it's great to be back seeing the lads, seeing, you know, the balls back out. And, uh, yeah, it's good to see everyone. Now, of course, we're all well aware that we've got the new normal and even with football life, not as it was before. How much have you had to do differently? How significant has all of that been? Yeah, yeah it's, it's, been, it's been very weird, obviously, coming into training, you know, getting tested, having to wear our masks, um, you know, taking precautions, you know, like two metres apart and stuff like that. Like I said, though, it's, it's the new normal now. So, um, obviously, health and safety first. Yeah, how have you found the testing? Because a few people have said it's actually quite tricky to make sure you do it properly. Yeah, it is. It's um, obviously you put it behind your throat and then up your nose, so it's not it's not very pleasant. But um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's got to be done, obviously. So yeah, and I presume it gets easier once you've done it a few times. You just <laughs> yeah, get the hang of it. Definitely, definitely, yeah, definitely. But what have you been getting up to then specifically then, sir? So in terms of the football, what has been the the aim? What have you been looking to do over this first week? Um, so obviously it's just, you know, building our fitness back, our, our touch with the ball, you know, technical stuff, our balance and all that, getting it back. Because obviously whilst we've been off, we've been doing more, you know, fitness based stuff, running, uh, a bit of technical, but more running. So yeah, this week, well, yeah, last week was just getting a, a hang up with the balls and obviously each week it progresses. So yeah. Who's come back the sharpest? Who's looking good? Everyone, to be fair. You know, I can't really say but um obviously we've we've been listening to Craig um whilst we've been off so yeah everyone looks good and sharp and obviously as the weeks progress we'll get better. Yeah and and I suppose as well uh, a key aim for you guys is that you're getting a bit of a head start on yeah. everyone else so yeah. when the rest of the the guys come back you'll have had that extra that extra prep and it will really Really help you in trying to break into the first team and really push them. Yeah, definitely. I think that's massive for us. Obviously, it's a big advantage to come in early to keep up with the older pros. So, um, yeah, we, we're just working hard and, and staying focused, and hopefully, we'll be up to speed with with everyone else. How quickly did all of this come about? When did you find out that you were going to be able to come back in? Uh, we, we were given um, a lot of days to come back, actually, but obviously because of the COVID rising and that, um, it got postponed. But um, yeah, we got given like a, a week's notice and obviously everyone prepared for that and just came back. So Yeah, and, and last season ends up being a weird one on so many levels. From a, from a personal point of view, what do you feel you achieve? What can you take from your first season as a posh player? Obviously, coming from non-league to league football, it was a massive step anyway. And to be obviously a part of, you know, this club, uh, the team, um, a team that's playing for promotion, um, you know, being involved quite a bit was was very good for me. Uh, I learned a lot every day, uh, new staff, new players. Um, for me, um, the aim now is to try and be more consistent and trying to get a spot in a starting 11 um, to push for that now. So, but, you know, for me, um, I'd say I'd like to put more stats on the table, but obviously I'm, I'm still young, I'm, I'm still hungry, I'm still focused and I'm going to keep learning. And obviously this season is time to kick on. I've had a taste of last season. I know what it's all about now. So just fully focused now on the new season ahead. What was your highlight from last season on a, a personal level? When do you think you had your, your best game, your best moment? I'd say best moment, definitely Portsmouth away. Just to be, you know, on that pitch with all them fans. You know, I was used to playing in front of 1,500 people and then you've got a, a ground like Portsmouth. You know, it was just unreal feeling. So I'd say that was definitely the highlight, definitely. Yeah, it's a, it's a big part of, of when you make that step up, just adjusting to the the new environment. It's got to be easier said than done. Yeah, definitely. Obviously, when I first came in here, um, Idris was immediately the first one to come and, you know, talk to me and thingy. So I felt quite comfortable. And obviously, as the weeks went on, I got closer to all the boys. So I settled in quite quick, to be fair, which is obviously very good. Have you got a sense of, of where 
might be your strongest position at League One level? Because you're quite a versatile player. You can do yeah. a few different jobs. But are you looking at a particular position in this team and thinking, that's what I'm going to, to target for the upcoming season? Well, of course, um, I'm a player that looks to play, you know, in between the lines, the pockets. Um, so 10 is a strong position for me, but I can play on the left, drifting inside, from the right, drifting inside. So a- any of them you know, will do, but my strongest, I'd say, is definitely 10, trying to get on the half turn and driving at players and trying to make things happen. Yeah, and it, it is the crucial part of that role, isn't it? Making yeah. things happen. You know yeah. you're going to be judged on your ability to either definitely. get goals or create goals. Definitely, definitely. And, and I'd say, you know, the season just gone, I definitely did create, definitely did create, but the thing is, obviously, I'd like to add more goals to my game. And obviously, once that one goal comes and that confidence starts to build, then obviously sky's the limit so yeah yeah and we saw with with Sariki last season how it can just suddenly click can't it you've got the raw material there but yeah. at some point it will just happen for you and then you run with it exactly Sariki's unbelievable talent obviously a lot of the youngsters me and myself would look up to him so you know obviously he didn't score for a long time once he did he got that confidence uh got the form and kept his place in the team so yeah it's a perfect example yeah, and the good news for you is you seem to have really fitted in at Posh in terms of your style of play, yeah. your personality, your character. You're, you're definitely in the right place. Yeah, definitely. And I feel like I'm in the right place. That, that's, the, that's the best thing. And I've got players around me that I'm learning off, you know, the orders. Um, so, yeah, it's just a great situation to be in. Brilliant. Well, thanks for your time. Enjoy the, the training over the coming days.